Beautiful but constant me. I got to taste that to see just exactly what it is. Oh, that's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. The crumble crackers up in that is even more better. I like it just like it is with crackers or without crackers. Mm-hmm. Now here is a little. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me, I guarantee. And today we're gonna have uh, two little different things. I'm gonna make a cold chicken consomme in this pot right here. I love consomme and I like cold consomme and I like hot consomme and I like chicken consomme. Hey y'all, today we're going to learn a few good cooking skills from a legend. Mr. Justin Wilson. So here we go, y'all. Sit back and enjoy. You ain't seen cooking like this, I guarantee you. And I like any other kind of consomme anybody has, you know? And uh, let me turn the fire on here. That's the wrong one. Oh, we do get the wrong one. Oh, yeah. That is water. I put some water in there that I'm going to put some chicken wings. And put the chicken wings in there and cook them till the meat fall will want to fall off of it. And then I, I let it cool to get the meat, the, the chicken out, and take it off the bone. Take the bones out and then just let it clear itself up and put it in the refrigerator. It comes out cold consomme. It's very good too. Now into this pot right here, I'm going to put uh, six chicken wings. Go in there like nice little cheering, dude. How you going, chicken? Nice wings. Two there. Now you can make it. You can also use mixed thighs with this chicken thighs. I never forget the time I was in Shreveport with somebody, and I had a cage, a full bleed cage with me, and uh, in a place where you could get all the chicken you could eat. We were sitting there. And the waitress came over and said, uh, anything else I can get for you? And this Cajun from Marksville said, I would like uh, two ties and a wing. And she looked at me and said, uh, what did he say? I said, he wants two ties and a wing. I thought she was going to shoot us both. I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> <laughs> now, into this, I'm going to put, I could put ties in there, but I decided just to use wings today. I'm going to put about, uh, a tablespoonful of steak sauce. Come on, get out of there now. I want to get all of you in there that I possibly can. Boy, that spoon's too big to get out in there. It is. Stir, stir that around a little bit. And then I'm going to put uh, about a half a cup of dry white wine. Yeah. And I stir, I want that to look, be right. Put a little garlic powder in there. That's garlic powder. Oh boy, this is good. And the chicken tastes good when it comes out of that. I got to put some salt in there. I'm going to put some, a uh, little bit of onion powder just so that garlic won't be lonesome all by itself in there, you know. Let's get this stirred up good. You think I'm not going to break that up the wrong? How you going? Let's start the boil and that'll broke it, that'll broke it up, I guarantee. Then all oh, get in there, get in there, get in there now. You know something that's trying to act smart with me? It ain't gonna get but not gonna do it. I'm gonna get it all out of there. There you go. That's onion powder. I need every bit of it in there. Must have been a little damp when we put it in there. So it won't act like that. Stir. Always stir. I put a little dried mint about, oh, this is not quite a te teaspoonful, about half a teaspoonful in there and stir that in. Go ahead on. Mm-hmm. 
let's get, let's broke up that something. Now, how are we going? I'm going to put some dried parsley in there, too. And it, it, uh, it is very good seasoning, dried parsley. That's about a half a cup of dried parsley. It's just that many chicken wings. You can look to it hardly. And it, and it doesn't look bad in, in the uh, consomme when it's through, too. Got to put a little salt in this. Just a little salt. Salt to taste my taste. I'm going to put just about a teaspoonful of salt. And I know you don't think that's a teaspoonful. Some of it's just doubt and Thomas's and Thomasina's. But I'm going to show you that that is a teaspoonful of salt. Exactly. With three extra grams. <laughs> that's all the salt it'll need. Now, I've got to put a little cayenne pepper in there. But somebody can talk about, but not much. That's hardly none. Not too hot. You know, Cajun people don't like food too hot. They like it well seasoned and tasty. But if you get too much pepper, they're just like anybody else. They don't like it. I don't like it either. More than that. Now we're going. I got something else I got to cook. I got to tell a story about this next one too. Now, I'm going to put the lid on that, and I'm going to cut the fire down. I have to cut that fire down some because that'll boil all over the stove, and I'd have to clean it up, and I ain't in the mood of cleaning up any stove, I can tell you that. So sit down and find the thing and put it on the old real low. No, I'm going to put it on lower than that. Put it on simmer, 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 simmer. Now, I can see that flame right there. Close enough, close enough. Let me move this stuff out of my way. Put it over here in this thing. Put this with it. I'm gonna leave the salt and the red pepper there, but I'm gonna use some more of that in something in, in okra and crawfish and mushroom. Now that sounds like it may be Delicious, and it is delicious. Believe me, it is. You put this in here. Let me get my recipe. I, I watch my recipe before. Let me pour myself a little wine. That is a, a red wine. I like red wine more than white. That's how come we got red wine. And I got this beautiful consomme. I got to taste that to see just exactly what it is. Oh, that's good, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm mm. The crumb of crackers up in that is even more better. I like it just like it is with crackers or without crackers. Mm -hmm. Now here is a little, a little bit of that. I'm not gonna put that in there. Let me put my napkin like I'm supposed to, like a gentleman. <laughs> put that there. Tucked it in my belt so it won't drop on the floor. No. Let's go.